you are watching electrical engineering lectures channel for more videos please do like subscribe and hit the bell icon for the latest notifications hi viewers welcome to electrical lectures youtube channel in this tutorial i will be telling you about some very important basics of plotting graphs in matlab this includes how to plot a graph modify its style plotting multiple graphs in single figure and adding axis labels and figure titles first of all i will be showing you how to plot a sine wave in our previous video i have already explained the detailed method to plot a sine wave here i will be quickly plotting the sine wave and then modify its style so i'm writing here x is equal to sine which is the built in command 2 pi here it is the frequency of the sine wave this is the length of the time vector which i am taking it to be 50 and divided by 1000 this is the sampling frequency so i can simply use the command plot and here i will be writing x so plot x it will plot the sine wave like this let me maximize it now i will be showing you how to modify the style of this particular graph to do this first of all go here and select this arrow to edit the plot now click on the graph and now right click on this graph to go to the color if you want to change the color of this graph you can do so by selecting the color of your choice for example i'm going to select this green color from here so it will change the color of this graph or you can change the color by your choice i am again selecting the blue color if you want to place markers on this particular graph again right click and go to the marker and there are many choices available in this menu and you can select any marker of your choice for example I am selecting this square marker. If you want to change the size of this marker, again right click and go here into the marker size option. Here many options are available starting from 2 to 48. So if I select 10 from here, you can see that the size of the marker is increased. Now if I want to change the width of this line, then again right click and go to the line width option. And from here you can select the line width of your choice for example if i select 2 from here you can see that the graph width is now increased another option is you can also change the line style again right click and go to the line style and select the option of your choice there are four options available here solid dash dot and dash dot for example i select dash from here so you can see that the solid line is replaced with a dashed line. Similarly, you can also place a grid in this particular graph. To do this, simply right click anywhere in this figure and click on this grid option. You simply click this, you can see that the grid is now visible. Now I will be telling you how to include the x and y axis labels and figure title. To do this, go to the insert option and select title from this menu and write the title of your choice for example i am writing here this is a sine wave so here is the title now if you want to insert the x and y axis labels again go to insert and click x label so here I can write the X label of my choice. For example, I write here time. And to place the Y label, again go to insert and click Y label. And write here the label of your choice. I am writing here sine wave. One very important thing that I want to mention here that some people are worried about the fact if they want to write the x and y labels in the form of subscript or superscript they find it very difficult 
but it is not actually very difficult it is very easy for example if i want to change the y label and i want to write s subscript 1 so i will simply write s and place underline and then write 1 so you can see that s subscript 1 is written over here similarly if you want to write superscript you simply place this sign the power sign and write 1 this will result in superscript in the y label this method can be used in x label y label and title as well and also it can be used in the legend right now i will be telling you how to plot multiple graphs in this same figure so let us plot another graph in the same figure so go to the command window again and recall the previous command and just replace this sign with cause to generate a new plot and let us rename the variable as y now to plot y in the same figure the command is hold on so i am writing here hold on and press enter now if i run the command plot y and enter you can see that the new plot is plotted in the same figure and the color is automatically changed so in the newer versions of matlab matlab automatically changes the color of the other graph if you want to change the color by selecting the color of your choice you can always do this by using the same procedure as i have already told you whenever you plot multiple graphs it is almost necessary to include a legend to show the type of each graph so to do this we go over here on the left side of the arrow here is, is the option to insert legend click this option and you can see that the legend is appearing over here you can drag this legend to any place inside this figure and also you can modify the contents of this legend for example double click the first one because the first one was sine wave so i'm writing here sine and then click on the outer side and then click double click on the second option and write here cause so you can see that you can modify the legend as well and whenever you change the color or any characteristic of this plot the legend will be automatically updated for example if i change the color of the second graph from red to let's say green so you can see that the color in the legend is automatically changed so this is a brief overview of how to plot multiple graphs in a single figure how to modify the styles of these graphs and how to insert x and y labels and figure titles thank you very much for watching this video stay tuned to our channel electrical lectures